right. Well, a controversial bill is making its way through the Texas le legislature and has a lot of people talking. Larry Miller here to explain all this. Uh, happy Monday to Hello. you. Of course, good morning to you guys at home. Well, this proposed bill would ban people from using food stamps to buy junk food like soda, potato chips, even some candy. Well, the people behind the bill say that it aims to limit the spread of diabetes and other health complications. Sweetened beverages account for 9.3% of purchases made with food stamps. This information coming from the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Now, homes that did not receive food stamps by comparison spent about 7.1 of their food budgets on sugary drinks. And right now, about 40 million people in the U.S. use food stamps to buy food. Now, this, of course, has a lot of you talking at home. Uh, this person tweeting this, that it's about time that someone does something about this problem, that food only adds to obesity in children, then taxpayers will end up with higher insurance premiums to make up for extra visits to dentists for them. And another person said this, that stop micromanaging or trying to punish what people buy or eat. It's a sad state of affairs if you qualify for food stamps. Unfortunately, even some military personnel can qualify for food stamps as well. So the argument really yeah. is that this is just a way of trying to control what the lower income eat and what they don't eat. Uh, we know that for those that do make lower incomes, that there isn't always a high accessibility to fresh fruits and vegetables, and that we find in convenience stores, which is our you know snacks, sodas, uh, candy, things like that, are really wind up being almost a primary source of food for them. So if you're going to tackle this issue, you know, and I've done enough reporting with food deserts and, and food access to know that this is like multi pronged You can't just look at food stamps and what people are paying with their money. You got to have education. You got to have equitable access to mm -hmm. food. Uh, there, there has to be a, a, a entire approach or a circular approach around how they tackle this problem. There are definitely multiple layers to this yeah. different tentacles, but I think those two tweets that you just showed mm -hmm. really show the two very passionate sides yeah. to this issue. Very fair points on both ends. So um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see what happens with this one. That we shall. Friend. But there's certainly conversation and it's been brought up before. Yeah. I don't think it'll ever go away. No, I mean, we also see what other states like Georgia are doing. Uh, I believe they have drug testing now for those yeah. that use public assistance. So. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Larry, thank you. No